everyone, welcome to the garden classroom. Today I'm going to show you how to harvest basil. And right here we are looking at some wonderful Thai basil and it's got these lovely purple flowers on the top. The smell is just incredible right now, just coming in here and, and touching these leaves. These flowers are a sign that you should be starting your harvest. Uh, if you don't start to harvest at the sign of these flowers, what the plant is going to do is put all its energy into making these flowers and then seeds, and it's not going to give you as much leaf production. So what I usually do is come out with a pair of scissors so I can make a nice clean cut. If you forget your scissors, you can break it off. Sometimes it's not quite as clean. And I'm going to take this stem here. I'm going to follow this flower down on this stem and we can see that there are these wonderful little branching leaves coming off all the way down. So I'm going to go down a fair way and I'm going to make a snip. And so as you can see I cut that down pretty far and now I have harvested this piece look at all these wonderful leaves I'm going to be able to use. It's also going to be a signal to the plant to start to regrow. So I'm just going to go around my Thai basil plant and I'm going to do that and this one maybe I'll cut a little bit higher. You see I have left those two stems. I'm going to come to this one here because we actually have some flowers blooming on this one and again I'm going to make my snip and I am harvesting this, so I am going to put this basil to use. I will probably freeze it. And what this is doing, it's sending that signal to this plant to start to grow, because what this plant wants to do is reproduce itself. It wants to make flowers and then seeds. So it's gonna start this process all again, because I have now taken all these flowers off. And so now you can see we have this beautiful, manageable plant. Yesterday I came through and I did that on our sweet basil. So I have a big bag of basil at home that I'm going to turn into some pesto, put it in the freezer. And this basil will last us all summer long. We will just continue to come out and pinch and cut and it'll continue to produce for us. So get out there, check your basil plants and do some harvesting.